Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, I wanted to talk about. Um, I know I've talked about networking with other preppers before, but I was having another thought and just was throwing this out there to see if anybody was interested. The only way to really truly survive in a worst case scenario is uh, obviously working together. You're not going to survive on your own. Um, I can't stay up 24 hours a day. I can't take care of everything that I'm going to need to take care of and uh, to be able to survive. You know, there's just no way alone we can do anything. The only way to do things is as a group. So I was wondering if anybody was interested, I'm just throwing this out there, and if you are interested, please contact me and we can discuss it, um, is working together as a community. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, uh, banding together, having, uh, you know, like I have my piece of property, it would be a good start. There's other land up in that area for sale. Picking up more property, or even just starting with mine, and working together, families living together, not all under one roof, but you know, building different buildings and living in different buildings, but working together, you know, um, with three or four or five guys working on a building at one time is way easier than you know, one or two. So, um, you know, if somebody wants to do like a, a community, live, work and live together. And like I said, when I say live together, not all under the same roof, but, uh, you know, on the same property, pooling resources, um, working towards, you know, it's, like I said, again, for me, it's all about freedom. And uh, I know there's other people out there that are sick of the grind like I was and still am. Um, but, you know, I'm in the process of doing something about it. And I know a lot of people are out there and are just, you know, it's a scary step. And I understand that. Here's my invisible cat, by the way. This cat hides in the basement down here. And... Uh, She's, uh, she doesn't come upstairs at all because of the other cats. I, she's just a nut. But uh, this is Nancy. But um, anyway, if anybody is, you know, been afraid to take that first step and wanted to, you know, to do something to that effect, um, let me know. Contact me because I, you know, I, I really would like to put together a community. You know, I mean, networking with other preppers, I still want to do that as well. Um, you know, have people with like minds and that's the other part of it for me is having people with the same mindset that want to be free that are tired of being slaves to the system that you know if you work together it, 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 a good example for me I'll, I'll, I'll give you a good example you have your your Asian community they'll have seven eight nine people all in the same house same family and they all work together and they pool their money and they pay that house off you know in six years instead of 30 because they work 16 hours a day and they work together you know and then they go and they buy the next thing but that's the way to do it it's working together and is for the common goal and the common good if you will and like I said I plan on having um, an aquaponic system up at the property um, up here in upstate New York we have to use we have to use trout you can't use tilapia because of the weather because we have too much cold weather come on, Nancy going out cold um, you know, so that that you know that's a way to do that. But uh, you know, being able to grow our own food, um, to to work on our own property, to have that freedom, and like I said, it's just you know, it's tough for most people to even make that first step. And I had to do some drastic things to put myself in a position. I mean, I destroyed my credit, absolutely destroyed my credit. But the thing is, I knew it was a sacrifice I was willing to make for what I needed to do. And the fact that the way that the system is set up and the banks are set up to make us all slaves, I just, I don't want to be a slave anymore, you know. So that's that's uh, what I want to do. And if anybody is interested um, in working together in the community, um, you know, being on the property, working on the property, you know, I, I got my property now. So, you know, it's not the Taj Mahal at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of work to do, especially when, like I said, when the spring comes, it's going to be gung-ho. And I'm going to do it regardless. But if anybody's interested and would like to join in with that and have a place to be where there's not going to be a huge mortgage payment, where there's not going to be, you know, this. And, and here's the other thing. I'm not looking for people that are lazy or looking for somebody to take care of them. I'm looking for people that want to work together, that want to be free, that uh, are not afraid to get their hands dirty. 
I don't know everything. I don't have all the skills, you know. Um, and that's the other thing with the community. You have people with different diverse backgrounds that have the different skill sets, you know. I'm ex-military. Um, I was in the Army. You know, I'm also a nurse. So, you know, I'm not the handiest guy in the world, but I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty and I'll do what I need to do. So, you know, um, anybody out there, if you're interested and you want to look at being in the community and working together, um, let me know. Like I said, I already got the property. Um, I'm planning on adding on more. Like I said, I'm planning on buying the neighbor's property next door, which will give me a total of six acres, which is a lot of prop, you know, a lot of land. So, other buildings can be constructed, places to live for other people. You know, um, like I said, I got my camper up there already. You know, if somebody had a camper and they wanted to come up there and put the camper up there, or if they're willing to work and for the better good of what we're trying to do, let me know. Okay, that's what I really just throwing this out there just to see who would be interested in that and. Um, you know, working together is the key, though. I mean, when, when things go bad, having people working together towards a greater good of the group, you know, that's that's the key. You know, and, and it's also being able to help the other people in the area, you know what I mean, that, uh, you know, maybe need a little bit of help. And it's barter. It's working, you know, okay, well, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you type of thing. And that's a key part of it, too. So, you know, having different people with different skill sets, I think it's very important, so um, if you're interested, please contact me, let me know. Um, you know, I really would be, you know, willing to discuss it, and uh, we'd, you know, have some conversations, and we can go from there. All right, well, thank you for listening, and uh, that's it for now. Prepper Nurse 1 out.